Oh. Yeah. Uh... Uh... <sighs> really? See ya. Welcome home.
Um... I want you to have this. Good night. What is it? Huh. Huh?
Later. Welcome home! Sheesh.
Welcome back. Good.
You're back.
If you want, you can change the channel. Hello, Okina Station. That was easy. He actually followed us all the way here. <laughs> that was a breeze. It's no sweat keeping up with a couple of guys still getting used to their scooters. Psh, if I hadn't run out of gas back there, we'd have left you in the dust. I shouldn't have cheaped out on gas just so I could have more money to fool around with. You know, I notice every time I come here, there's a lot of people around. Yeah, if we hang out around here, I bet someone will come talk to us. Actually, uh, mind if I head off for a bit? <laughs> Since I came all the way to Okina, uh, there, there's this craft shop? It, it, it's nothing, I'm just, just saying I gotta go buy some stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna go do my own thing for a bit, so you guys get started without me. Then why did he come with us? You're right. Okay, let's get this plan underway. Sorry to make you guys wait. I couldn't decide which one to get. No luck, huh? This is so weird. I think someone's watching us from somewhere, though. Oh, hold on. I'm sure if we hang around a little longer... Dude, the sun's gonna set. Well, maybe there's some holes in your plan after all. Mine? 
Of course it is. Your face is scaring people off. Plus, you're on a bike. My face ain't got nothing to do with this. I wasn't even around until a minute ago. Hey, you're the one who said chicks would come running if you had a motorcycle. You said every guy needs a motorcycle, but that thing's a scooter. Does it, like, not matter what kind of motorcycle it is as long as you got one? Well, it's true that the ones I saw in the magazine were all big motorcycles. But that's just how it goes. There's always a gap between a man's dream and cold, hard reality. I can't afford an expensive one. A scooter's the best I can do. Senpai, can you give me 10 minutes? I can't keep quiet after getting shut out like this. I'll avenge you guys. This isn't a fight, you know. What are you gonna do to avenge us? Hit on some girls? Hell yeah, how else would I fix this? Come on, we have motorbikes and we failed. There's no way you could do better, right? Even you think I can't do it? Haha, <laughs> I told you so. This heat must have fried your brain. Fine, it's on then. Let's make this a contest. I'll show you clowns how a real man gets it done. Calm down. This is turning into something we've all got a stake in. I mean, do you realize what you're saying? This means we're the ones that have to approach the girls. That just sounds lame. And I doubt it'll go well for us. You chicken? That's not what I mean. All we gotta do is ask them to be our friend, and then make them say yes. Nothing to it. Well, I guess there's nothing to lose. That's the spirit, senpai. If I lose, I'll run around the block in nothing but my underwear and those gag glasses Yukiko-senpai had. Only girls count for this, all right? You're still stuck on that? Damn it! Hell if I'm gonna lose this!
How'd it go? Not as well as I hoped. I thought so. Oh, but I did get a phone number from some chick who said to give her a call. Does that count? A girl hit on you? What did she say? Something like it only costing so much for an hour. I don't know. What was she talking about? How dense are you? There's no way that counts. What about you? Did you get anything? Well, the look on your face says you obviously scored. Is that a cell number? What kind of girl was it? Come on, you should call her up. Please, pretty please, please. How many times are you gonna beg? So you're gonna call her, right? Right? She picked up. Oh, Senpai's the man. Uh, hello? I could hear him from here. Was that dude for real? Well, <laughs> that's the risk you take. All right, I'm up next. Last chance. You pulled it off, Yosuke Senpai? <laughs> of course I did. One phone number right here. Amazing. Man, it wasn't easy, too. She was crazy hot. I just had to push myself a bit and go for a sexy older woman. Time to give her a call. I hope you guys are ready for this! Hello? It's me. Yosuke-kun? Yep, the guy who asked you out on a motorcycle ride. Man, I can't wait. Huh? You know my name? Did I tell you? Of course I know your name! <laughs> we go to the same school! We do? Well, that's impossible. I mean, you... Wait... That voice... This is Hanako Otani. Who did you think I was? Uh, how did you get my number? Oh, God! I'm in such deep shit! D -d did I call the wrong number? Uh, one more try. Hello, it's me. Yeah, I know who you are. You really want to go on a date with me that much? What the hell was that? It sounded like a fiend from the pits of the earth. Ugh, I could feel a chill go down my spine. Forget about it. For your own sake. This number is dangerous. It's better that you don't know what that was. Oh, you guys. Hanako-san! Why are you here? The countryside's no place for a girl like me. I was taking a walk when I suddenly got a phone call. <laughs> You're really into me, aren't you? A motorcycle date, huh? Well, if you want to take a ride that bad, I'll go with you. <laughs> Wait! <laughs> My motorcycle! Oh, what's with this scooter? It's broken. If you want to take me out, you've got to do better than that. The best girls don't go steady for nothing, you know. You need to make an effort. Am I cursed? Did I insult a gypsy or something? <laughs> Easy for you to say. I don't even have a way to get home now. Senpai, you fought well. I was totally moved by all that. Come on, hop on behind me. I'll get you back home safe. Whoa! Up close and personal! I get it now. So this is what your plan was about. <laughs> oh, you don't get anything! And you're freaking me out! And dude, it's against the law to have two people on a bike. It's okay, just put an end to this suffering already.
big bro? From me to you. Onions, mushrooms, green peppers, and radishes? Are radishes the same as turnips? Curry's fine, right? It's practically our national food. We were going back and forth between ramen and curry, but I thought ramen might not be enough for you guys. Hmm, I wonder what kind of ingredients Yosuke likes. I get the feeling he's real picky. He's on another floor, isn't he? Do you want me to go ask? Nah, no need. Plus, he said he needed to get ready for something. Hmm. Hey, Chie, you use potato starch for curry, right? Of course you do. Otherwise, the sauce wouldn't thicken. Then we need potato starch and some flour, too. There's different kinds of flour. Which one should we get? All purpose? Whole wheat? Hmm, whole wheat sounds healthy. Let's get that one. And here they are. 
chili peppers. It's not curry if it isn't spicy. Oh well, let's just get everything that seems right. How about some kimchi too? Ooh, and some ground pepper. There's two kinds though, black and white. Whoa, way to go, Yukiko. The Amagi family sure knows their stuff. Let's get both, just in case. Oh yeah, we'll need some special ingredients too to spice things up. Hmm, I remember seeing something on TV about that. I think it was, um, chocolate, uh, coffee, yogurt. <gasps> How about mint chocolate? Ooh, I love that stuff. I don't like coffee that much, though. Oh, I can drink mocha, so let's get that. What about some seafood? That should make the sauce taste better. You're back. Hey! Night. Picking up all that trash was murder on my back. I can't believe someone threw away an entire bike. Damn it, litterers should have to deal with their own garbage. Anyways, time for dinner. Man, I'm starving. Dude, the girls cook just for us. Not that I expect much out of Chie, but Yukiko's got the full tradition of the Amagi Inn behind her food. You know it's gonna be out of this world. Why so generous all of a sudden? It's okay, man, just enjoy. I can't wait to dig in. Should we taste this? Huh? Only if you do it first. Oh man, here it comes. Uh, sorry for the wait. Um. We put a lot of love into it. Well, really? That's kind of cliched, but still awesome. Okay, then. Chow time. Hey. What the hell is this? I mean, what kind of... Curry's supposed to be, like, really spicy or kind of mild. This just stinks! And it's gritty, too! It's somehow both gritty and slimy, and it's got squishy parts in it! It's so freaking nasty, I can't even swallow it! Well, it just didn't mix too well, but it does offer a wide variety of textures. It's nauseating! Come on, it's not that bad! That's just your opinion! I'm telling you as a friend. Don't. Do it. I wouldn't even joke about trying that slop.
Oh. We're sorry. Sorry. What are we going to do? Our group's the only one without food. I mean, if it was even slightly edible, that'd be one thing. But I'm not taking another bite of this mystery food X. <gasps> Something smells good. Hanako. Oh, I don't have any choice. And besides, she owes me, considering what she did to my motorcycle. Hey! Uh, Hanako, you wouldn't happen to have any extra curry left, huh? Come on, give us some! We're begging you! We're starving to death here! <sighs> no way! <laughs> I'm on a diet right now, so this is all that I made. It has to last me. All that you made? It's like a bucket full! Oh, I wonder if there's any way we can get something delivered here. But our cell phones don't get service up here. And dinner time's almost over. All right, back to your tents. Men's tents are this way, and the girls' tents are that way. Come on, people, look alive! Youngsters like yourselves should hurry up and get to bed after they eat. It's now time for us teachers to have some boo. I mean, uh, off to bed! Lights out! You guys are gonna pay for this. <laughs> Night. Damn it. I'm so hungry. And how the hell did you end up here? My teach threatened to hold me back a year if I didn't show, and the first year's ten is all quiet. It's like someone died. Well, if you were in there with him, I'm not surprised. Is it just you two in this tent? The other guys called in sick. Smart move. So it's okay if I hang out here? Hey, you're a stand-up guy, senpai. Don't worry, I won't make any trouble for you. They won't catch me unless we raise a ruckus. All right, all right, you can sleep over there. Dude, there's a huge rock under there. How am I supposed to sleep? It's gonna hurt like hell. Pipe down! Didn't you say you weren't gonna make any noise? Yo, senpai, can't you go just a little further back? Nope, there's a slope just past here. I'd roll down the hill in my sleep. If you don't like it here, go back to the first-year tent. Hey, wasn't your teacher some guy called King Moron? That guy stopped me outside earlier, and he pissed me off so bad I was about to lose it. He was going on and on about when I was in middle school, when he doesn't know shit about any of that. Not only that, he was bullshitting about how I'll be expelled immediately if I cause trouble. That ain't funny, man. Yeah, that guy set a speed record for jumping to conclusions. Check this out, right? I heard it from a guy in my class. He said that asshole was talking shit about the two girls who died. King Moron was talking about Ms. Yamano and Saki-senpai? It was like, it's no surprise that people who are unfaithful or run away from home meet a bad end. I don't know, maybe he was exaggerating. Everyone seems to hate that son of a bitch Moraoka. Damn, I could just picture him saying that. He never shut up about me either when I moved here last year. Not that I remember anything he said. Even if it's only a little true, it still pisses me off. The dickhead's a damn teacher, for God's sake. Now, nah, don't waste your energy getting pissed at that clown. Yeah, you got a point. Wait a sec. What are you eating? Animal crackers? What the? Those are mine! Damn it! I was so pumped about finding the penguin today. Penguin? The secret animal cracker! You were eating them and you didn't know that? Are you serious? Well, you should have said something. Oh, well. Oh, this isn't gonna fill me up. Let's just go to sleep. That's all you gotta say for yourself after taking my snacks. Kanji? Don't you have more space on your side? And I can't sleep over there, or my back's gonna break. Oh, okay. Uh, hey. Yeah? 
Why'd you come to this tent? <laughs> I already told you. Jeez, wrong with you. This is as good a time as any, so I want you to be honest with us. Uh, okay. Are you really, you know... Am I really what? What I mean is, um, are we going to be safe alone with you? What? <laughs> what the hell is that supposed to mean? I already told you guys I'm not like that. Well, then why are you all hot and bothered about it? That's just more suspicious. Hell no! We settled this already, damn it. Right now I'm, well, how do I put it? Uh. Oh God, don't trail off like that. You're freaking me out. I'm trying to tell you that I have no problem being around girls now. Can you prove it? <laughs> prove it? Because if you can't, we're going to be stuck here all night, half scared to death. <laughs> to hell with this. If that's what you really think of me, then I'm going to go hit the girl's tent right now. Uh, wait, well, that's a little extreme. You don't have to go that far. They'll expel you if they find you. Don't tell me you forgot. King Moron's got his eye on you. Yeah, like that stop a man like me. The dude's seriously going for it. Hey, man, you gotta stop him. You think I'm gonna put up with this crap? I'll show you guys. To hell with King Moron. No one's stopping Kanji Tatsumi, damn it. Uh, hey, wait. What a putz. I declare myself not responsible for anything that happens. Now I get why we're the only three in here. I can't sleep. Oh, I'm hungry too. I should have eaten a little more of that curry. It might have knocked us unconscious. Sheesh. We can't sleep. We can't walk around. I wonder what Teddy's doing right now. Being alone all day is pretty rough when you think about it. You know, a while ago, he... <sighs> that does it! Yokiko, we're out of here! Where'd we go, though? I don't think climbing down the mountain is a good idea. Do you think she'd stop snoring if I covered her nose and mouth? No, 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 no! Yokiko, no! Oh, I can't take it anymore! Who's there? Hey, are you guys still up? What are you doing here? This is the guy's side. Let us in. Don't be ridiculous. If King Moron finds out, we'll all be expelled. Go back to your tent. We can't. Are there any rotten apples out and about? Any? Indecent students out there? All right, hurry up and get in. So why are you two here? Well, it's Kanji-kun. He's out cold. I I don't know what happened. He just came in and then and then he he fainted all of a sudden. That's all, right, Yukiko? Huh? Uh, yeah. <laughs> So there was no way we could sleep with him lying there, and, you know, if we woke him up, he might have made a fuss. That's why we left him there. What? That makes no sense. He busted into your tent, then suddenly fainted. Listen up! Being insolent and being indecent are very different things. It's him! He's right outside! Hey, turn the light off. Are you two in there? 
Answer me! Huh? Ah, so you're in there. Is Hanamura already asleep? Yes, sir. Fast asleep, sir. Don't get cute, Hanamura. Shut up and go back to sleep. <sighs> Ugh. I think I had one too many. I'm so sleepy. <sighs> there goes a couple years off my lifespan. No joke! We were nearly expelled! Hey, this is you guys' fault! Well, what else are we supposed to do? Anyways, we can't leave now. We'll sneak out before the others wake up tomorrow. Is that good enough for you? What are you so pissed off for? You better not try any funny stuff while we're asleep. Is that clear? Hey, we didn't say you could, damn it. You owe us for this. Looks like we're the only ones here. What's wrong? Got a stomach ache? No, it's just... I thought I got pissed and ran out of the tent last night. It's so weird. Was it a dream? When I woke up, I was in Yosuke's senpai's tent. It, it was a dream. Must have been a dream. Okay. All right, then. Let's get swimming. Are you seriously taking a swim? I'll pass. I'm still all stiff. What are you looking at us for? If you guys want to swim, go right ahead. You know, you two still owe us. Huh? Whoa, 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 whoa! We're not going in there. I mean, we do owe you, but... Oh, yeah! We don't have swimsuits with us. Man, of all the luck. Yeah, it really is unfortunate. <laughs> oh, I see how it is. We put up with your dinner, we save you from King Moron, and you won't even have some fun with us in the river. No, it's really too bad. It'd be no problem if I had just had a swimsuit. <laughs> Ta-da! I've got you covered. They're Juness brand originals from our brand new line of swimwear that just came in for the summer. I had a clerk friend of mine choose them for me. Pretty swanky, huh? Dude, that's just wrong. Did you have those this whole time? Come on, let's all go swimming. What should we do, Yukiko? It'd be no problem if I just had a swimsuit. <sighs> you know, we really were looking forward to dinner. <sighs> I wonder what would have happened if we didn't help you guys last night. We get it already. Sheesh, you just never let things go. All right, that's more like it. How far off did those two go to get changed? Come on, let's get in. Whoa, man. Like that. Hey. Stop it. Man, this is going even better than I expected. Kind of makes up for having to eat that mystery food X last night. And come on, you guys got to admit I chose some good suits. Those girls might be childish on the inside. But I bet they're gonna turn into some fine-looking women before too long. Don't you think so? You guys crossed the line! Definitely. Ah, it's freezing! You, you didn't have to push us in! Who cares? You were going in the river anyway! 
They brought this on themselves. Sheesh. Aren't they the worst, Kanji Kun? Hey, you've been awful quiet. Are you feeling okay? Don't don't tell me the injuries from yesterday are still. Uh. What? <laughs> that was close. What, what was that for? I didn't do anything! Hey, what's gotten into you? Huh? Do you hear something over there? <laughs> so that's why no one else was here. Good thing we noticed before we went in. Senpai. Don't say it.
Yo! All right! Welcome! Thanks, man. That concludes Risei Kujikawa's statement regarding her temporary leave of absence from the entertainment industry. We're short on time, so if anyone has any remaining questions, we ask that you please keep them brief. I'm Ishioka from Ladies View. It says here that you'll be recuperating. Are you facing physical problems? No, my health isn't an issue. Psychological problems, then? What? Rumor has it you'll be staying with your relatives, but isn't that in Inaba where the murders have been taking place? Huh? Um... Is it true that they run a traditional tofu shop? Will you be helping out with the family business? No more questions. This press conference is over. Clear the way, please. Is Risei-chan quitting her job on TV? Who knows? But if this is her hometown, we'll have to deal with everyone who's trying to get a glimpse. I'm tired of diets. Enough with going to the gym. Good thing there's something even I can handle. <laughs> calorie magic is made for those worried about their calorie intake and body fat. It'll slim you down in no time. Risei Kujikawa, huh? The one good thing about this town was that it had nothing of note. 
Now we get all the buzz. What's going on? Yo. Yo. Hey, there he is. You've been coming to school pretty often lately. What's up? It's this annoying thing called the mandatory attendance policy. But man, seeing you here kind of reminds me of the school camp out. I thought we were all gonna forget about what happened. Oh, sorry. <sighs> eh, whatever. So hey, you guys see the news? News? Oh, that stuff about Rise Kujikawa taking a break from showbiz? I wonder why. She was just getting popular lately. Just goes to prove that being an idol is tough work. Huh? You don't know her? Dude, what's wrong with you? She's all over the media. It hasn't been that long since her debut, but at this rate, she'll be a top class idol in no time. To be honest, I'm a fan too. She's such a cutie pie. A cutie pie? What are you, 80? But I think she used to live here, so she must have a lot of local fans. The news said she's going to her grandmother's tofu shop, right? Do they mean Marukyu? Marukyu? Marukyu Tofu. Our inn was serving their tofu until recently. Oh, that place in the shopping district. I pass by it all the time. Wait, does that mean I can meet Rise if I go to her tofu shop? Hey, aren't we getting a little sidetracked from the point here? Did you forget about the murders? You're the one who said the connection between the victims might be the TV. She could be the next target. Come on, it's not like Rise has started showing up on TV just recently. Also, how could Rise be connected to the incident so far? I wondered the same thing, so I did some research. It seems that she had no personal interaction with Miss Yamano. They've just been on the same show once or twice. She's been an idol for a while now, but she's the talk of the town thanks to the news last night. And she is moving here after all. So if our assumptions are correct, she fits the pattern. She'll probably be targeted next. And if she is, that narrows down the killer's methods even further. What's that supposed to mean? <sighs> Kanji-kun, listen real carefully. If Rise is next, then that lets us rule out our theory that the targets have to be connected with the first case. And that means the killer's targets are people who have been shown on TV recently. Get it now? Huh. Oh. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, we have to keep a close eye on everything Rise does. Let's do it! Sheesh, he's all pumped up. What's up? Hmm. 